Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use tongs to apply a Morini. What's special about these tongs is that you can adjust them to fit the mandrel you'd like to use. With the screw, we can vary the space between the tongs to fit the size of our mandrel. First, we need to make a bead that fills out the space of the tongs. We can decorate however we want to. There are a lot of nice options that would sadly take up more time than we have right now. So I've decided to show you one simple option as well as how to use the tongs to apply a marini. To start with, we need to heat up the space on which we want to apply the Marini. At the same time, warm up the Marini in the back of the flame. After setting it onto the bead, we heat up the Marini and the space around it. Now the tongs come into play. With them, we can press the Marini onto the bead while keeping the shape the same. This way, the Marini will fit into the uh, bead shape exactly. For this simple marini, I heat it up after fitting it onto the bead and prick the middle. This way it will look star-shaped after melting it. Here you can see the process of fitting the marini again. It works exactly the same on every part of the bead.
At the end, I applied a few drops of silver plum since it reacts nicely with the base glass I've chose. Now we melt everything in until it's smooth, and then we're done with this bead. Here you can see how the fitting works on a round beak with a different pair of tongs. Heating it up and setting up the marine, and then, like before, pressing it in with oval tongs. You can use these tongs for round beads as well which can be advantageous because you can see what you're doing a bit better, but of course means the shape doesn't fit the bead as well. For oval shaped beads, these tongs are perfect though. These tongs and more tools are available at our website. Thank you for watching and see you next time!